I've got something pretty exciting for you today. It's a Bluetooth stethoscope. Hello everyone, my name's Ollie. I'm a second year medical student at Warwick Medical School in the UK. Now, I've been really excited to make this video for you. This is Stemoscope, the Bluetooth stethoscope that lets you listen to and record your own heart sounds wirelessly. Now, this is a Kickstarter product. I backed this myself on Kickstarter. I think I paid $29 for it plus shipping, which was kind of 20, 25 quid at the time. It was really pretty inexpensive for what it is. And the Kickstarter went really well for them. They smashed their funding target and now you can buy one for $99 from stemoscope.com with free shipping worldwide, which is always a plus. Now, just before we go any further, this is gonna be a review of Stemoscope. This video is completely unaffiliated with Stemoscope themselves. I back this with my own money. This isn't a sample unit. This is the finished product that you received if you backed it on Kickstarter. I've been playing with it a lot over the last few weeks, probably more than I should have been during exam season. So I'm really excited to bring you this video on my thoughts. So I can already hear you asking kind of, what is it? What is it supposed to be? It's basically just a tiny little Bluetooth stethoscope chest piece that you connect to your mobile phone or tablet, any Bluetooth device. That device then acts as the amplifier for the signals coming from stethoscope, and then you use a pair of connected headphones to listen to the sound. From my testing, I found that it doesn't really matter what you use. I mean, I've used everything from these cheap kind of Sony in-ear ones to my favorites, my Bose Quiet Comforts. Everything seems to work perfectly fine, whether it's wired or wireless. The only thing I will say is that anything with a bit of noise cancelling you will benefit from because it'll just make those heart sounds a bit easier to hear. The stemoscope itself is a diminutive little puck-shaped thing about an inch in diameter and it weighs very, very little. About the same as a couple of two pound coins, maybe even less. It comes in this neat little package with the device itself, some instructions and the micro USB cable that you'll need to charge it. Getting set up is really easy too. You simply go to the Stemoscope app in your app store of choice. It's available on both Android and iOS and you need to scan the QR code on the bottom of the device. You'll then need to put in an email address and register your Stemoscope with your email address, but after that you're good to go. So now I'll show you how easy it is to use. The first thing you have to do is turn it on, after which it will start to flash, which you can see there. Then we will go ahead and launch the Stemoscope app that we've downloaded. Perfect, so now it's connecting, it's trying to find our stemoscope, which it's found. Then, so you can see we've got it connected and it's prompting me to put in some headphones, which I'll, I'll put in my um, little cheap wired ones, and then we can press listen to get going. So now it's flashing at me and we're gonna go into listen mode. So we get this warning, um, heartbeats are full of bass sounds which require earphones and enough high volume to be heard. So basically heart sounds are really bass heavy. Um, so what I would actually do is turn your volume down slightly before you begin using it, uh, just so it doesn't deafen you when you start listening, because it is quite sensitive. So before we do any listening, I'm just going to take you through what we have um, in the app. So just looking at the top, there's a few different modes we can choose from. The first one is a heart one. It's giving us the positions where you would auscultate the four heart valves. We've then got a mode for lungs. One for doing a manual blood pressure, which I think is a really nice touch. Then one for pets. I can't actually imagine any of my pets um, sitting still for long enough to tolerate me prodding them with a stethoscope, but if you can get it to work on your pets, good luck. And then we have this final mode where you can more closely tailor the response to exactly what you want, but we'll focus on that another time. So then returning back to heart mode, if we look in the bottom left of the screen, the first one is we have a bell tuning mode. It basically has a tunable diaphragm on the bottom so you can adjust the frequency response digitally. So currently we've got the 20 to 200 Hertz response like the bell of a stethoscope. You can see the one around my neck. This is just my Littman Classic 3, the one I use for medical school. We've then got a diaphragm mode. So stemoscope suggests that the bell mode is better for listening to heart sounds the diaphragm mode, which covers 100 to 500 hertz, will be better for listening to breath sounds when you're auscultating lungs. And then we have a kind of complete frequency response mode, so it'll amplify everything it picks up from 20 to 1000 hertz. Then over on the right side, we've got an adjustable gain filter. So if someone's got quite quiet heart sounds or you're struggling to hear them, you can boost the gain. That'll make everything louder, but it'll also make 
kind of unwanted background noise louder as well. So you've got to tune it carefully. And then underneath, we've got an option that will let us record the screen of the phone. I'm using a separate piece of software to do that, but you might find that useful. And you can actually see that at the bottom of the screen here, um, it's picking up my voice. The stemoscope sat on my knee right now while I do this. I'm just gonna throw these headphones over my shoulder so they're out the way. We're actually gonna start listening to some heart sounds. So we're gonna start with my mitral valve. So I'm just gonna pop this on my knee, press record. So the app has started to record everything that I'm doing. Then you can hold it in my other hand. We'll do this properly. So find my sternal angle, come down, find the fifth intercostal space in the midclavicular line. Then I'm just gonna pop this underneath. Okay, so I found where my mitral valve can be heard, but I'm just gonna boost the gain. The sound's a tiny bit quiet. I turned it up a bit too high there, it actually started clipping on three. And there you go, we get a waveform uh, in the app itself, which you can see on screen, and you can also hear the heart. So then I'm going to stop the recording, and we get taken to this screen where we can save what we've done, we can play it back, it's telling me that I'm in the bell mode, and I can also click in the top right corner and upload it to Google Drive if I want. Now we're going to try my tricuspid valve, fourth intercostal space, just parasternally on the left. So just in the interest of time, I'm then going to come up to my pulmonary valve. There we go, that one's a bit more difficult here, but it is there. And then across to my aortic valve on the right. Nice, so I'm just gonna go back to my mitral valve again, but we're gonna put it on the diaphragm mode just so you can hear the difference in how it sounds. And then lastly, I'm gonna do it on the complete frequency response mode. So we're back on the bell mode. Now I'm just gonna place it over my carotid artery, see if we can hear any brewery. So there you go, you can definitely hear things. So for something that I paid less than 30 quid for, I'm actually really, really impressed with the stemoscope. I think it sounds great for what it is. Like given how tiny it is, it's 11 millimeters thick. Something I do want to talk about very quickly is that Stemoscope themselves don't tout this as a medical grade device by any means. They're really clear about that on their website. It's not meant to be a replacement for your traditional stethoscope. It's purely meant to be a recreational object. Obviously, I'm a med student. I'm not really experienced enough to comment on whether or not this could potentially be used in a clinical setting. I'd certainly be really interested to give it to a cardiologist and see what they make of it. I can only imagine that on the part of Stemoscope that not trying to register this as a medical product must have saved them an enormous amount of time, money and effort. You know, think of all the red tape that that would generate. So I honestly don't know, but let's just have that clear. This is not a medical product. But what it is, is really fun. I think it's a fantastic thing to be able to listen and record your own heart sounds like this. And I mean, imagine coming across like someone in your family who has a, a weird murmur or something and you can actually record it for your own purposes with their consent, of course, and have it saved on your phone. I wholeheartedly recommend it. I think it's a great product. For what it is, I'm really impressed. It's rare that Kickstarters kind of deliver on everything that they promise. But credit to Stemoscope, I think they've really followed through with this one. So thanks very much for watching, guys. Please be sure to hit that like button for me. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think of Stemoscope, whether you're going to run out and grab one. Take care. Please be sure to go ahead and visit postgradmedic.com for all my free videos about getting you into medical school. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.